words may not come into your mouth yes do you face that problem i used to do that in the beginning as a child but that did not give me much enjoyment you need because to there are some people who say who discovered english i want to kill that person after you make the choice you have to take up the responsibility whether it's your money or it's your parents it money or adults you know the problems that they face sometimes they would have been through bitter sweet or sour experiences in life they would have really tried learning the english language but otherwise most of them prefer one to one sessions because they want all the attention that is not wrong they want to clarify doubts they want to feel con concern as how much time will it take for me to develop my language learn do you feel the strain when you speak during an interview during daily conversations sometimes when you participate in group discussions and most of the time when you really want to express a point in an official meeting words may not come into your mouth yes do you face that problem today's video is for those who are struggling specifically if you have finished your college studies your schooling and now you know that you're an adult some of your professionals also you may not find the time to go to a place and study you don't have to study you just have to learn now how to do that these points that i'm going to mention through this video will definitely help adult learners this video will also help people who are training and teaching the adult learners in english language and communication no learning the english language is not just grammar reading listening speaking if you're going to do it like that dissect it and study you will not enjoy the process of learning and developing your language skills i used to do that in the beginning as a child but that did not give me much enjoyment you need to enjoy the process of learning and that is when you relish and cherish the words that you have learned the structure that you're framing and the full creativity uh will be enjoyed during your daily conversations also so welcome to another video on my channel my name is rini rose matthew i'm a language trainer and also an author i am a celta certified tutor training adult learners in english language of course communication skills is also a part now regarding today's video the first point is interest if you're preparing for an examination if you just want to appear for an interview or if you want some promotion also in your life you sit and study english studying will not help even if you're going to study for a period of time have the basic interest because without interest you will feel that you're forced if you feel that you're forced to study you may not continue enjoying it in the sense you will keep studying for a period of time but it will not continue in the long run it's going to be a burden for you when you do something out of little interest it makes a very big difference of course you're preparing for ielts examination or maybe you could be preparing for an interview it could be just to engage yourself in a beautiful english conversation whatever be the purpose have that interest that is the foundation if there is no interest i don't think you will be able to make a major change in your fluency in your english language skills after you have crossed a particular period now i do not mean to say that if you're old if you feel that you have crossed a particular age you cannot learn no it's not like that age is not a barrier what i'm telling you is even if you are a child or an adult whatever it is the interest is very very important even if you did not study in an english medium school it's absolutely okay please watch my previous videos i have clearly mentioned the meaning of all these ideas second thing is some of you are professional some of you are working to be a professional in the sense you're searching for jobs now if you already have a job maybe you want a promotion even if you're an engineer or a doctor or anybody from the professional strata of experience english is important it is mandatory 
uh, even if you don't like it at some point of your life you will definitely have to encounter this beautiful language okay now if you don't like it don't force yourself because there are some people who say who discovered english i want to kill that person okay of course we discovered language so that we can communicate with each other now when it comes to english this channel focuses on english whether you like it or not if you want certain things in life you need the english language at least to fill a form right when you're an adult nobody is forcing you it's your choice but when you are a child when you're a student going to school that's what i meant you can be a student for life that's okay but when you have this academics with you when you are a child when you are a school going student or a college going youth there is some kind of force that's put upon you that's thrust upon you right maybe your parents your professors your teachers and because of that you will study you will study for some time even if you don't want to learn now when you're an adult you really have taken up this stand it's your choice to learn the english language because you want to pass an examination or you want to do well in life it's always for the next level if you don't want to do nobody is forcing you some people really want to go to the next level in life but they can't take the effort then we cannot do anything about that okay so the point that i want to make here is you want to go to the next level in your life it's your choice to learn the english language now what's the next step after you make the choice you have to take up the responsibility whether it's your money or it's your parents money or your husband's money or your wife's money whoever is spending for you for a particular course you have to take up the responsibility for which you have to make an effort take it up take it up as a small and sweet challenge don't be harsh on yourself be accountable for the energy that you're spending okay money is important but the energy the time that you're spending it shouldn't be a waste but always knowing a foreign language or a language apart from your mother tongue is an asset definitely i've enjoyed that in my life that's why i'm telling you it's an asset okay so uh, when you take up the responsibility you will enjoy the process and then nobody should keep telling you learn learn study study do that do this you will explore and experience different ways of doing it the next point is when you're dealing with adult learners or if you yourself is an adult learner trying to develop the english language skill you should be meticulous you should be consistent now consistency need not be explained so much to a school going student because every day the child will go to school and some kind of learning or studying will take place because you have the environment you are in the school you are in the classroom even if you don't listen there'll be teachers to guide you there'll be uh, your uh, friends and peers to motivate you even through discouragement people will keep learning okay but when it comes to an adult learner you need to create the space okay you have to take the decision if i am going to learn i have to create the space i have seen lot of learners taking classes from their own car because they say i'm traveling or i've just finished my office or i'm going home so i can take sessions now you may not be able to take up the notes at that time but some people record the sessions they take an effort and they progress so it can be done in any way okay so you create the learning space it need not be a classroom with a study table and all the charts and everything your learning space could be any place that gives you the motivation the vibe and the energy telling you come on you're going to learn something now for the next 15 to 20 minutes now 15 to 20 minutes is the minimum okay you can go up to the maximum limit it's your choice the next point is sensitivity Sometimes we feel that only children are sensitive and I have heard teachers saying you should be very careful when you speak to children even if some of them don't do it even adults are sensitive because when you have an adult in front of you of course they have crossed 18 years of their life that's when you call a person adult i'm not tr trying to say that children are not mature they are not adults of course they are not adults but some children are more mature than adults i'm not taking the special cases but when it comes to an adults you know the problems that they face 
Sometimes they would have been through bitter, sweet or sour experiences in life. They would have really tried learning the English language but somebody would have made fun of them or maybe a teacher would have discouraged them. We don't know. So when you deal with adults and when you are an adult learner who is into self-studying, try to think about what stops you now or what stopped you from developing the English language and why you are not able to communicate. See, first step is to work on your language. Communication fluency are parallel. Okay? Why do you learn the language? Why do you learn a particular language? To communicate. It's a form of expression. Even if you make some grammatical errors, it's okay. If people are able to understand you, it's okay. That doesn't mean you should have poor grammar. No. You're taking some effort. So, adults are very sensitive, adult learners, some of them are very sensitive. So, when we correct them as a tutor or a trainer, make sure that you don't hurt saying, can't you learn all these years you have been learning? Now you're sitting in front of me? No, nothing like that. So, from my experience, I understand that when you correct and when you connect with a person sitting in front of you in a logical way through the English language, they will definitely take the effort and they will take the next step. Instead of always complaining and saying, you are not working hard, you have to do something. Of course, I have to work, but how should I work is the next question that the person will have in their mind. Now, some people are too rigid. They may not just take the effort. Of course, I am not speaking about such a lot. I am speaking about people who really want to take that effort, who are very genuine towards development, but don't know how to do it. I am not speaking about the superfluous and very superficial uh, learners who always try to find mistakes or who want to showcase that they're doing something in life. Not about them. I'm speaking about genuine and sincere people who really want to develop. Okay, so correcting them sensitively is important. Even as a learner, you have to correct yourself sensitively. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you're not able to remember something, don't say, I am dumb, I can't understand. I don't think English is going to be my friend in my life. I don't really understand what these words are. It's okay not to understand. But take some effort, get it clarified. Why aren't you able to understand? What should you be doing regarding that? How do I come forward? How do I take myself to the next level? How do I go to the next level is very important. Okay? And the next point is, when it comes to an adult learner, they prefer one-to-one -one sessions because some of them are shy in discussing with the others. But if you're really working on group discussions, if some of the adult learners are very comfortable, you can put them in groups of two, then in groups of three, then in groups of four so that they become comfortable with group discussions. They will know how to communicate with people who, whom they are not familiar with. Because when you go for group discussions, you may not be familiar with everyone, right? So I do that for some adult learners if they are comfortable I take their permission because they have their full privacy um, that's one way otherwise most of them prefer one-to-one -one sessions because they want all the attention that is not wrong they want to clarify doubts they want to feel confident speaking to an expert and they want to get their feedback okay maybe in front of other people they may not be comfortable because they don't know each other. But if some of them are comfortable, you can club them together and have group discussions. You can ask them to have healthy debates. You can be the moderator. So same thing can happen with an adult learner if you're doing self-study. You can have conversations with people who are not judgmental towards you. Now coming to speaking platforms, IELTS platform, some of you are preparing for IELTS examination. I know that you should remember something. This is the basic thing that is, the basic element is you do not go for IELTS coaching if you are not good in English because a lot of people say I have come here to improve my English speaking skills and my communication skills. You should have some basic knowledge. Your spoken should be good. IELTS is an examination that is conducted to check if you can really communicate effectively or in an appropriate manner when you go to an English speaking country because that's very important. That's why we have reading, speaking, writing, listening. You should be uh, getting used to the accent and also certain usages and conversational things which are directly taken from life. For example, if you want to take 
a room in a hotel how do you do that how do you fill the form how do you speak to the native such kind of things are checked upon but it's not to develop your language in the sense if you're a beginner you cannot go for IELTS coaching and say I've come here to develop my English no you need to work on your spoken English you need to work on your English language skills and then go for the examination otherwise you're going to waste time that's what I'm trying to tell you okay spoken English courses are there spoken English language classes are conducted by everyone in our country every nook and corner will have S some sort of institutions organizations they will be running an academy but you need to understand some of them are not authorized even IELTS coaching centers OET coaching centers some of them are not authorized the last point that you have to remember is accent and pronunciation I've already done a separate video on this now remember the YouTube platform is inundated with lot of channels and I have seen lot of people even children um, training or explaining and also speaking about all that they have learned you need to understand that sometimes people get excited and they speak so fast um, and it may not help everyone all the time now rising and falling tone is important the pronunciation is important accent is a choice some people really want to showcase their accent sometimes it comes very natural in a natural way pronunciation the way you articulate a word, the way you keep your mouth and tongue, the way sound is produced, the way you stress, put the stress on different parts of the word or words in a sentence is very, very important because that also conveys meaning. And don't worry about fluency. When you make all these changes, when you take all these steps, fluency will come behind you. You don't have to even run behind it and be so obsessed with it don't be obsessed with learning be careful okay be cautious and enjoy the process the last point of concern is how much time will it take for me to develop my language learning is a never-ending process you will progress within two weeks within three weeks you will feel the change every day if you're consistent I can assure you that if the method is right if you're taking the help of a proper platform or a proper trainer or tutor you will definitely progress every day if you're consistent but how much time will I take to learn the language even I am learning the language my professors also tell me the same thing Rini I'm still learning I have a lot to discover because this huge ocean no one can fathom this huge ocean it's more about motivating yourself to be consistent that's what you can do it's not about learning everything within 90 days or within 30 days please don't get carried away by all these false ideas and statement you shouldn't be a caterpillar inside the cocoon you should come out of that cocoon and fly and be the butterfly you speak you listen you write you read you come back and learn tomorrow you speak come back and learn the next day you write something come back and learn it should be like that everything happens like this you know it just goes on like that like a cycle I hope you get it thank you so much